going to do this afternoon is the climax. This is where you are actually going to get some hands-on training. So we can look at what we did yesterday as a theory. Today we're going to have the practicals and it is my pleasure to um, hand over this session to the key people who matter. Our vision is a developed municipal assembly that provides social economic services to its people. If within your community they are raising funds to support a particular project that is near to the benefit of the entire locality, entire community, why not? You are a youth, but you can mobilize. You can use your energy. Whenever I'm talking about local governance, I tell people that you just have to picture how the national government is working then it has been divided into smaller portions, and that is what the assembly is applying. If you look at the national level, we have the president, we have his ministers. In our case, the president's rep is the chief executive. Then, if you say ministers or people who represent the various areas, these are the assembly men. The role of the youth in disaster management and prevention cannot be and overemphasize, and therefore needs to be taken seriously. The assembly is also a planning authority. He has acquired the land. I say, here you have to build, or if you don't build, and so we go ahead and build. Please, let's come and then apply for permit, and it will be advised appropriately. Is it the responsibility of assemblyman should be asking for building permits? Yes, yes, assembly member can ask you whether you have a permit. In fact, anybody can ask you whether you have a permit. It's, you are not supposed to be living in a house without a permit. The scholarship secretariat created an online scholarship application and administration system. And the website to be able to assess the application process is www.scholarshipgh.com. The only way you can accept your admission or be seen as a student is when you join your academic registration. And you can only do that when you've paid your fees. For, for, so for someone who has not yet paid her fees, who has not been able to do that registration, how then can the person apply for the scholarship? The scholarship secretariat wants evidence that you are a student. Supposing that you just attach your admission letter, but then you do not really go to the school. Then government of Ghana goes to pay the money into the school's account. Yet you are not a student there. Then it means the government of Ghana has loosed out. Because mostly in the university, once the money is paid, it is not refundable. I trust that for all of us here, this kind of information will have built our confidence in how our local system works. The system cannot work without you. You know, as youth, it is important that we engage. It is important that we take interest it is important that we support, you know, so let us all do our part to, to support our various local assemblies for it to work. Youth Breed uh, Foundation in Czech Republic program has been a very uh, successful one. I have had the privilege to know more about our municipal, metropolitan and district assemblies, things that goes on there and that of uh, basic rate payments, which I have never heard, I have never known about. But yesterday, I have the privilege to know of a basic rate, which we, the youth, can uh, walk in into any municipal or district assembly and pay our basic rates, which is annually. When you come to the disability community, we have this uh, popular adage, and it was actually um, a World Disability Day theme that nothing 
uh, about us without us. So that means that we have to be part. We have to take part in these town hall meetings. We have to be part of decision making so that the assembly and for that matter our government wouldn't enact any policy, wouldn't take any decisions without our input. So that's how we say nothing about us without us. So with this knowledge, it's an eye opener. What I've learned here, I promise to send it back home, to implement it. We are going to, I'm going to exhibit what I've learned here in the house. I will do that with my friends, family, and everyone. To say the least, it has been an eye-opener too. After the departments have exposed the youth to the various uh, activities and services that the assembly provides, the questions that came tell us that indeed, there's a lot of things to be done in terms of exercisation, in terms of engagement, and in terms of partnership. And the youth has a, a variety of stock of knowledge that we can tap and bring to bear on development of the assembly.